Come explore the gardens now, gardens now, gardens now. Come explore the gardens now. We are open now. Hi there, Caterpillar Club. It's Jacqueline from Ryman Gardens, and I'm reading to you today from Ryman Gardens. We are open. Ryman Gardens opened back up to members on June 1st, and we will be open to the general public starting on June 8th, so we hope that you will come and see us. You'll see some differences, and we want to encourage everybody to maintain social distance and to wear masks if that's comfortable for you. Um, but we are open and it is a great time to be here. We have lots to come and see. There are lots of beautiful plants and flowers in bloom and we also have Nature Connects here for the first few weeks of our opening. So do come see us. Uh, this peony is blooming today and it is called Bartzella and it is so beautiful and yellow and big and full that I just had to show you. Some of its, le some of its petals are just just wrapping up here but I just wanted to share that with you today so I'm sitting right next to it. Um, I am going to read a book today called Up in the Garden, Down in the Dirt and this is uh, written by Kate Messner with artwork by Christopher Silas Neal and this is published by Chronicle Books and um, this recording is with appreciation to Chronicle Books for the permission. Up in the Garden, Down in the Dirt we have lots of beautiful vegetables and herbs on the first page there. Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Oh, that looks kind of like Ryman Gardens looked a few months ago, about the time that we closed. It was still, it was still, I think, snowy and there wasn't much growing or we couldn't see it anyway. Everything was resting. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask. See, and they're digging in the soil. I see some flowers starting to bloom there, but... Oh, and look, I see a skunk in that, in that tree stump, still sleeping from the winter. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They are already working down in the dirt. This shows some different kinds of things we might find in gardens. I see ants and ladybugs and a house centipede and beetles and spiders and oh there's an earwig and all different kinds of creatures. Uh, there's a hornworm and a snail and a centipede and a slug and earthworms. Up in the garden we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Look at they have chickens set in that garden. That's so fun. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. Do you ever play with pill bugs? Do you ever find little roly-polies in the soil and get them to curl up? They are really fun to explore. Oh, and look, what's up here? I see a rabbit, and there are some crocuses that were blooming. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. So this is a tomato hornworm in its pupa stage. They go through, hornworms um, are the caterpillar form, the larva form of um, of that life cycle stage because it goes egg, larva, pupa, adult. And so this is just in its pupa stage, like it's, cat it's a, like a cocoon. Um, soon, hopefully, you can come back and see our cocoons in our emergence cases and you can see them emerge as adults. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit legs loaded with pollen. Look at how the, all the pollen on that bee's legs. 
and there are wasps all around helping to pollinate and you can see down in the dirt the carrots are growing the earthworms are making trails through the soil I weed and wilt and sung in sun so strong even Nana looks for shade down in the dirt earthworms tunnel deep I'm jealous of their cool damp dark oh there they are making those tunnels through the soil and look, you can see up on top, there is a snail, and here's a little butterfly. Up in the garden, rain shower! Nana turns the hose on me! Eee! Woo, that chilly water would feel so cold. Look at the garden growing, so beautiful. A fun place to play and learn. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep, roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Let's see, where's the, oh, there's the spider. A little white spider, kind of like a little daddy long legs. And there's bed here. And I see some insects under the soil, and I see roots growing under the soil. That water's gonna soak down for those roots to suck it up. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Those are those little tiny green insects. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Oop, there's a grub, and there's a beetle, and there are some little insects. Oop, and there's a little snail. Oh, there's the slug. That robin is eating all of those things. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting in the dark. Bats, oh, look at the bats. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Ooh, that's good. They're eating all of those pests from the garden. Look at this. Can you see that spider? Look at that spider building a, building a web right behind me. There he goes. It's so fun to be back here at the garden and to see all of our garden friends like that spider. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Oh, look at that praying mantis eating those mosquitoes. Nana pulls away the aphids and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh. But, hmm, oh, snap, someone else is faster. Look at that. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Do you have any garden snakes, garter snakes in your yard? We have garter snakes that we see at my house in my backyard, and we're always happy when we see them. Yesterday, I found him just underneath my hose because my hose was dripping when the water was running, and I found my garter snake getting a drink and resting on the cool rocks by my, by my house. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. It has a sunflower house. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. There's that little orb weaver and her, her silken strands form that spider web. An orb weaver is a kind of spider that especially is busy in the fall. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're searching, they're storing food for cooler days ahead. Ooh, look at all those ants, so busy. You can hear the chimes at the gardens. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. This looks like milkweed. 
milkweed releasing their seeds to blow in the wind and start growing next year. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. An orb weaver is a little spider that builds lots of webs, especially in the fall. We start to see lots of their webs. And you can see she catches those moths every night. There they are. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors too. Let's see, there's a squash vine and there are all the different colored leaves and the trees are losing all their leaves. Look at, they're all bare. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for colder days ahead. See all these ants down here and they're all carrying their little loads of food going through the tunnels underground. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Okay, I think this looks like a milkweed pod maybe. And all those seeds are sailing on the wind. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. There's a beetle burrowed down in the soil and the ants are scurrying to their, their little uh, nest and this earthworm is all curled up. When grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. Look at all of these friends from the summer. There's maybe a queen bee and some worms and egg sacs that all kinds of insects laid and there are little ant colonies all over. That's the end of the story. But the other thing that I really love about these Kate Messner books is in the back, they always have lots of author's notes and information about all the animals she talks about. She says, every garden is a community garden. Do you know why? You may work hard planting seeds and pulling weeds, but plants can't thrive without the help of those smaller garden gardeners down in the dirt. Some help by controlling pests that would like to gobble up your broccoli and tomatoes before you have a chance to eat them yourself. Some help by creating tunnels which bring air into the soil and let water drain more easily. And believe it or not, some help just by going to the bathroom right there. So the right there next to the green beans, this adds important nutrients to the soil. A healthy organic garden isn't a garden without bugs. It's packed with lots and lots of living things, all working together with the human gardeners to nurture healthy plants. And she talks about chickens and pill bugs and tomato hornworms and honeybees and earthworms and long-legged spiders and a robin and bats and june bugs and skunks and cutworms and praying mantis and grasshoppers, garter snakes, orb weavers, ants, all kinds of things that live up in the garden and down in the dirt. Thanks.